hi hello and welcome back to let's talk by george in today's video we are going to um, review the update for project elixir 2.0 android 12l the latest update for poco m3 redmi 9t juice or kind devices the rom comes with default g apps i've been using the rom for the past one day and i find the rom to be more smooth um, more efficient and uh, regarding the battery usage I'm not sure because uh, it depends upon I mean individuals who use the phone okay so even the quick setting style you can change the uh, shape of the quick setting style into the fluid UI which looks attractive to be honest but the brightness slider stays as it is right so that is about the quick settings and uh, coming to the launcher the rom is using google launcher by default now that is about the uh, launcher setup and all and these all are the apps which i am using right now in this rom so basically hdfc or kotec bank um, banking applications can work in this rom without root i haven't rooted the rom so that is working really fine and if you want to have the repainter to work on this rom without root that is also possible and uh, currently i'm using that one too so that is about the application side of the rom uh, i don't think the rom comes with any kind of camera so uh, it is better and it is advised that you install google camera go from play store if that is available or any other port like bsg or something like that uh, which is available in our telegram uh, groups and the rom comes the rom is play store certified without using any modules and stuff like that so the device is certified let us go to the settings page as you can see that the settings page they have actually um, changed the user uh, interface for the settings page and it really looks cool too let's go to the about phone section at the android version now as you can see that they have modified the um, the about phone section into a different user layout or user interface as you can see the android version is 12 L, the android security update is 5th of august elixir version is 2.0 device maintainer ac linux status is enforcing and the kernel that comes default with the rom is 4.19.253 um, this kernel guys this kernel is really amazing. I don't think that you need to change the kernel So that is about the device information that you have and the security So basically there is screen lock face and fingerprint unlock. Unfortunately, I don't think we have a um, We have a uh, app lock available with the yes i we have app 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 block so we have also app block and the rom is encrypted too and even with the screen lock quick unlock is present for the pin number so that is about the um, about the security section and let us go to the essence which is the customization option for the particular rom as you can see the customization option once you take the customiz uh, customization option there is a uh, small brief about the project uh, elixir so the first one that you have is theming you can use custom colors if you want or there are a couple of other options available like you can select quite a lot of fonts icon packs um, then icon shape then comes the signal icon customization and finally the Wi-Fi icon style once you scroll down you can also see that you can uh, select a different uh, uh, set of styles for the uh, lock screen too so these are these all are the styles that are available with the row then net, next one is a status bar network uh, icon 4g icon combined signals volite icon you can uh, you know there is by default uh, volite so icon you cannot customize volite icon into different sort of styles then traffic indicator then tap to sleep clock options so basically yeah these all are the options that are available and battery styles battery estimate the next option is here you can switch to fluid ui settings style so it will actually um, 
go back to the default kind of setup but it requires a system ui restart so quick settings customization that means classic style once you change to classic style just only icon is being displayed and you can even adjust the background transparency so as you can see yeah it becomes really transparent so you can even adjust that one also i set it into 95 percentage so it looks really cool then brightness lighter customization is present there then clear or clear all button customization is also there and under the quick settings option you can actually enable or disable data usage um, toggle so your data usage will be actually uh, displayed over here then uh, a vibrate on touch uh, show location privacy indicator then lock screen you have the standard lock screen options that are available over here so there is nothing new or there is uh, nothing you know better that is being added on to the rom or are the standard options then extras are like enable advanced restart and key customization in call vibration options fingerprint sensor notification options and gaming mode so basically the gaming mode is available with the rom and these all are the customization options that are available with the gaming mode so that is about the rom and the the last feature i just want to show to you is the uh, power of uh, button thing so it is not actually having the standard kind of layout but it is following the um, fluid uh, ui style or pixel uh, plus ui so it is having something similar to that and even if you go to advanced still it is having the same kind of setup so that is the review about this particular rom and let me show you my battery usage also let me go to the settings and uh, battery uh, let me show you the last 24 hours of usage i'm not sure whether this is going to be a nice um, nice usage actually um, but to be honest with you it looks fine for me the way yeah the screen time from i guess it was uh, 90 percentage from 90 percentage till now five hours i don't think that uh, screen time is going to be something great but this is how the battery um, looks like when it's being used with the default kernel so that's uh, that's how the battery usage is and uh, finally the drm for this particular rom is l1 i suppose yes l1 so this is my review about the rom so what are my final verdicts about the rom if you are interested to use it definitely you can use it it's a great rom it's a smooth rom even though it comes with gfs but it is not bloated with quite a lot of gfs so that is an advantage so um it is up to you to use but it's a really great rom i personally i mean i would like to thank the maintainer for the rom spending his time you know putting a lot of effort into making the rom ultra super smooth to be honest with you guys you know i have not experienced any lag for the quick settings when the blur is enabled so that is something special about the rom and i really enjoy the rom i do i do recommend the rom to be used as a daily driver too and i really honestly thank the maintainer of this particular rom for doing this wonderful job once again i would like to thank you for watching my review i hope you have enjoyed my review please make sure to subscribe to my channel press the bell button so that you won't miss any future updates thank you